Hi, my name is Jay. I'm the founder of a marketing and advertising agency. And I give plus Donka four out of five stars. And for more reviews like this, please click below. Before Plus Doc, we were doing everything with Google Forms, and it wasn't a bad way to go, especially since everything lives in those hubs. The problem was there was always access issues. Um, the data was only Excel sheet driven. You couldn't upload files and have it all in one place. It felt very disjointed from the rest of the onboarding processes we needed when we were acquiring different types of um, information from our clients during the early stages of their onboarding process. So Plus Doc solved that problem, but that was an issue that we saw with Google Forms. And and uh, outside of Google Forms, the only other software we've ever used was was uh, Client Point, but it was just for proposals. Um, so we, we don't even touch that one anymore either. So I found Plus Doc on an AppSumo deal, um, and AppSumo is a marketplace for uh, up and coming app developers. It's a great place to launch an app. Um, and I, uh, I actually was looking for something at the time and thought this is exactly what I need. I need something great for onboarding. It at first was uh, a, a little, um, uh, I wasn't sure if it was going to work because it was built for real estate mostly and like schools and, and education. And uh, But we were able to quickly adapt the templates they had to be suited for our needs. And it was, uh, it was a really great um, addition to our software stack from then on moving forward. Um, originally, onboarding Plus Doc was was pretty straightforward. Creating the the account was really easy. Um, it was a little, uh, it had a little bit of a learning curve in that the sense that the way that they they had some of the portals for where you'd enter information to create a new question or a drop down or a, a section you had to upload something. That was a little weird at first to learn because it was laid out much differently than we had thought. And, uh, and you have to kind of click into it a couple times. So that was actually more of a UX experience fail than anything else. But they've made it easier since then. Um, I'd still say it's not perfect uh, as far as, as uh, what would make it completely user friendly and completely effortless. But it's pretty easy. Um, but that, that was a, one thing we noticed with, with onboarding that was a little... A little difficult getting started was quite figure out where everything was inside of the app, which was surprising because the app was so um, was so simple. But uh, after you kind of figure out where everything lies, it, it becomes a lot easier to maneuver and get get moving forward with your campaign. I would say if you're on the fence about whether or not you want this as an onboarding piece of software, as a software to be able to take invoices, even you know, I'd look at your 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 tech stack already and. You know, I, I would not use this for accepting payments. Um, it's great to have all in one place. I wouldn't do that just because I think that some of the other software solutions make it easier for accounting. So instead, I'd look at it strictly from an onboarding perspective, and I would compare it to, say, Google Forms and put yourself in the customer's shoes and say, if my customer got a Google Form, that's free for me to do, versus something that's a little bit more clean and like a, almost like a website where it's, it's digital, it's an interface, and you have step-by-step -step instructions to upload documents that you may need, um, which one's going to feel a lot more professional and which one's more appropriate because you might not need plus doc if you really only have to get like three pieces of information out of somebody. A Google Forms a lot more uh, attuned to Excel sheet style documentation, whereas plus doc was really great for files. So I would take a look at your particular scenario and see which one may be better suited for you uh, and move from that. But uh, yeah, I, I would keep it I would keep it on your, your docket if you're definitely doing files, especially if you're doing rental agreements and real estate stuff and you, you have people that have to send you stuff that it's definitely one of the best platforms for that.